Hi, I'm Brett Newberry. Since fraud can be a catastrophic risk, taking the ACFE Fraud Prevention Checkup can save your company from disaster. If you do not proactively identify and manage your fraud risks, they could put you out of business almost overnight. We are doing a series of brief videos discussing the various elements related to the Fraud Prevention Checkup. Last time we discussed fraud risk oversight. If you recall the maximum number of points related to your assessment regarding fraud risk oversight should have been 20 points. Today we will discuss fraud risk ownership. As we discuss this issue, you should assess how well your company has addressed this issue. Please score your assessment based on a maximum of 10 points, which means that your company has fully implemented the process and tested within the last year, and it's working effectively, and a minimum of zero points, which means the process has not even been put in place. Fraud risk ownership. To what extent has the organization created ownership of fraud risk by identifying a member of senior management is having responsibility for managing all fraud risk within the organization and by explicitly communicating to business managers that they are responsible for managing fraud risk within their area. This is really a, a situation where you're being asked to be the champion in regard to this particular issue. You're you're identifying somebody within senior management, or if you're a smaller organization, it may come down to the business owner. We have found, though, in really any kind of project, whether it's fraud related or any type of management project, that to be a champion in regard to anything, you have to really believe in this particular project of what you're working on. What do I really mean by being this champion then? You've got to believe. You've got to really think what you're doing here makes a difference and it really is going to help the organization. To help you feel more comfortable in regard to this being the champion on, say, this particular fraud risk ownership issue, I want to just give you just some brief stats that's put out by the ACFE. The AFC, ACFE stands for the Association of Certified Fraud Examiners. They put out a report every two years. Uh, it's called the Report to the Nations. The latest report is the 2016 Report to the Nations that came out last year. And we're going to attach uh, a link uh, associated with this video in our newsletter so that you can uh, download the PDF if you'd like to uh, peruse the entire report. It's about 70, 80 pages, something to that effect. It's got a lot of good information on it, but you may not be interested in looking at everything, but everybody has their own interest related to whatever topic you're looking at. However, some of the stuff inside the executive summary I think is really useful to help you feel more engaged as the champion in regard to this uh, fraud risk ownership issue and basically running uh, being in charge of it and really believing of what you're trying to do. One of the items I want to point out is that CFEs, what a CFE is, I'm a CFE, is a certified fraud examiner. And the C CFEs who participated uh, in this survey, they estimated that the typical organization loses 5% of revenues per year in related to fraud. That's a lot of money. And so, uh, obviously, if you're in senior management, you're going to be familiar with the gross revenues for your company, or if it's a larger organization in regard to the gross revenues for a business unit. So if you take 5% of that gross revenue, it gives you a little bit of an estimate in regard to your potential exposure related to fraud. It's not an exact number, but it's an approximate amount, and it's been found pretty consistently over time by the ACFE. So if you can see and understand that this is an important issue that could be costing your company a lot of money, I think it'll help you in regard to being a champion related to this particular issue. 
I hope this helps. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.